Many of us have a goal of being healthier. For some people, that means losing weight. Yeah, but some health experts believe the number on the scale shouldn't be the only factor to consider when it comes to our health. Mandy Gaither has you covered on what makes a healthy weight and why changes in diet and exercise don't help everyone. In the U.S., it's long been considered a serious health issue. Being overweight or obese can lead to dangerous problems. But when it comes to the number on the scale, one size may not fit all. You can't just judge the book by its cover and assume right. that someone that is larger is unhealthy and someone that is lean is healthy, right? That's, that's the assumption that people make. And I call that practicing street corner medicine. In the Chasing Life podcast, obesity medicine physician scientist Fatima Cody Stanford says weight doesn't necessarily dictate health. She says it's just one factor that plays a role, but by itself, it doesn't give the whole picture because it doesn't show a person's ability to function and perform at that weight. Someone who's lean may be very unhealthy and someone who's heavier may be healthier. While healthy eating and exercise are both important to health, some experts say not everyone will lose weight that way, and the research around obesity is changing. What we're starting to see is that there are actually different types of overweight and obesity, different classes. You could even call them class A, class B, class C, and they respond to different things. Dr. Sanjay Gupta says there are some people who respond better to healthier lifestyle changes while others won't. That's why he says weight loss drugs are gaining popularity because of the number of people they can potentially help. What the challenge is for a lot of doctors, especially obesity medicine doctors, is trying to figure out which class of people, uh, a class of patient they're actually dealing with. For Health Minute, I'm Andy Gaither.